Hey everybody, Johnny Rizzo here with Rizmids and the Rizzolution. Uh, long time friend here, Mark Cavino. Dude, how you been? How's it going, man? I haven't Excellent. seen you in a long time. I know, it's been years. <laughs> Jeez, since college, the old yeah. college days. Making yeah. movies uh, on the cheap, man. This is like uh, a so, reunion. <laughs> I know. Jeez, we got everybody here, man. So, dude, we're here with a band called Death, huh? Your new yep. movie. How's yep. it going since you've been around the world and back it's, since it's, I saw you? It's like. going great. Um, we finished the film last year around, um, uh, I guess, just before springtime. Yeah. And then it had its world premiere at LA. AFF, the Los Angeles Film Festival, and that was that was just amazing. And yeah. since then, it's been going to all these other film festivals. We've been to Amsterdam at IDFA. Um, we just got back from South by Southwest. Um, amazing festivals, amazing run, and the film always gets great responses. So I, yeah. I think I did something right. Why don't you tell the audience here about the film itself? Let's start off there. And we'll sure. Um, <laughs> well, a band called Death is about three African American brothers from Detroit, Michigan, who in the early 1970s basically started playing punk rock music before anybody else was playing punk rock music and they recorded an album and it never really got released but they released a 45 and that didn't get a good response because of the name probably and how fast the music was but 35 years later this 45 got rediscovered and the band kind of reformed and blew up yeah it blew up <laughs> It's awesome, dude. And how'd you find about, out about this story? Why, why um, did you shoot this one? Well, how I found out was through my friend Jeff Hallett. Yeah, he's where's my, Jeff? Yeah, Jeez. Jeff? I tried to get him up here. He's, eh, he's slacking. Oh. He's, I, I was like, Jeff, we're going to every film festival. And he's like, eh, I don't know if I can make it. But um, yeah. Jeff's living in North Carolina, so it was hard for him to oh, make yeah. it. Up. Actually, South Carolina. Um, yeah, so it was a little bit hard for him to make it. But I found out through Jeff. I worked on a music video with Jeff. Yeah. And um, he told for me. For his band, right? Was for, that? No, no. This was a music video for some other local punk band. Um, okay. I think it was a new upstate New York punk band. And uh, he mentioned to me how he wanted to do a doc on his friend's band Death, and he wanted to do a 20 minute doc and just interview a couple of the members of the band, and that was it. And I wasn't interested because I was trying to wrap up my current documentary on this hip -hop, these hip hop artists from Connecticut. Um, so I told him, I said, listen, I'm busy. But I do like rock and roll, and it would be kind of cool to do a short doc, maybe. It might be easy. Why don't you send me the music, send me this New York Times article you keep talking about, and send me a synopsis about what you want to do. I read a synopsis. I was, I was a little interested. This was after two weeks of me blowing him off, by the way. He sent me the email, and I blew yeah. it off for two weeks. But uh, finally, I read the email, read a synopsis. I was kind of blown away by what he was telling me in there. I read the New York Times article. I was floored. It was yeah. such an amazing story. It kind of gave the basic gist of the story. And then I heard the two tracks, Politicians in My Eyes and Keep on Knocking. And I fell out of my up. seat. I was just like, wow, how could I have not have heard this music before? And that's when I called Jeff up and I said, Jeff, listen, we can't do this as a 20 minute doc. That's going to be a waste of our time. This, is a, this story is way too big. Yeah. It needs to be a feature length yeah. rockumentary. And so we went out to make a rockumentary originally. And, awesome. and then it became more about family from there. And the, the, the story, the story yeah. kind of morphed into itself. That's how documentaries go, huh? Yeah, yeah. yeah you it's, it. <laughs> it's amazing. Like the, the in documentaries, the the real life stories tell themselves and kind of write the script for you. And you said it took how many years? Uh, took four, about four close years? to four years now. Yeah, with uh, all of shooting and post, like yeah. three years of shooting and a year of post. What did you shoot it on? Uh, I shot it on uh, mostly the Panasonic HPX and the HVX, um, and uh, for a lot of B-roll, I shot on the Canon uh, DSLRs uh, from T3Is up Excellent to camera. 5D. That's what we use here. Great camera, yeah. <laughs> <There's> yeah. Illusion. <laughs> um, nice. and and After Effects, was that all your photo, sh photo uh, work? All the photo stuff was done by a company called Stellar Hawk out of Florida, nice. and they did the movie More Than a Game, the LeBron James doc. Documentary, and so we referred to them uh, through our other producer Matt Pernicerio, who worked with them on more than a game. He produced yeah. that, and so we used them, and they did an amazing job. That was all After Effects that they used in it. So I saw you had some uh, some big stars in your movie there too. Yeah, oh, yeah. Questlove. Uh, what's the guy from uh, Black Flag? Oh yeah, um, uh, Henry Rollins. Uh, Henry Rollins. Questlove. Yeah. We had Elijah Wood. Yeah, Elijah Wood. How'd you get in touch with some of um, these guys? It was a combination of Jeff reaching out to people and Scott Moser reaching out to people. Whoa. And uh, through both of them, you know, Jeff found uh, Alice Cooper. Yeah. Um, Jeff found big names. The Jello Biafra from the Dead Kennedys. Uh, Scott helped us find Questlove and Elijah Wood and secure those interviews and everybody was a fan of the band that we interviewed you know like from Kid Rock uh, uh, from uh, Vernon Reed yeah. from um, 
from In Living Color, yeah. from Living Color, not In Living Color, the show, yeah. but. Um, so all these guys knew the band, they loved the band, and they wanted to talk about the band. So it was really easy to get them to do interviews for us. Awesome. And how about the ride afterwards? After you finished them, and you've been to LA and all around the world? Oh, man. Tell me about it's, it. It's, it's, fun, it's huh? been crazy. It's been really fun. I've been meeting a lot of amazing filmmakers. I mean, you know, the, seeing the film with an audience is great. Yeah. But there's something about uh, meeting all these other filmmakers out there, documentary and feature filmmakers I'm at these film too. festivals, yeah. and <laughs> just like having a whole new group of friends in this community now. I feel like I have a home, you know? You see <laughs> so, the same people in a few of them, right? Yeah, exactly, <laughs> right? <laughs> you start seeing them all It's a small over. world. Yeah. I keep bumping into filmmakers at each of these film festivals. It's crazy. That's awesome. Man. Yeah. I know. Well, congratulations. Uh, Dude, anything else you want to say? Thank you so Where much. can they find it? And, uh, um, you know, the website? Well, um, oh, I'll let you hold. No, <laughs> um, a band called Death uh, did get get bought by Draft House Films recently and it's it's going to get a theatrical and video on demand release in June and shortly after that there's going to be a DVD release. Um, it's going to play theatrically in 20 theaters across the country. Nice. I don't know per se what theaters are going to be yet but for the video on demand all you have to do is go onto Draft House Films website and they'll have all the information that you can get from there. You can also download a free demo track of Politicians in My Eyes on their website right now. Awesome. Yeah and awesome. there's going to be a soundtrack Release through their website soon, and we're also re-releasing the Death 45 in the same con in the same like red sticker that was on it in the 70s. So that's going to be really cool. Dude, yeah, congratulations! A lot, lot of great man. things. Check out Draft House Films. I can't wait. Yeah, yeah you check it out out there. <laughs> and Jeff, I hope you're at the next one. All right, buddy. The next one. We'll see <laughs> yeah, him again. The next movie that comes out with you guys doing it. I yeah, can't yeah. wait, man. Bring it back around town. Totally. I couldn't all have right. done this without Jeff's help, and he couldn't have done yeah. it without mine. We made a really good team on this. And, yeah. And also yeah. our producers, Kevin Mann, Matt Pernas. Cario, uh, Scott Mosier, and even uh, Jerry Farrar. You know, yeah. he he helped us with money, and without him, we wouldn't have been able to finish the film. So, your thanks, wife, thanks, your wife and, and my out. wife. I gotta give <laughs> it a big shout. She got no credit. My, 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 yeah, she got she got a special <laughs> thanks. She got an honorable mention. Oh not, man, that's not the wife. You know, without my thanks. wife, I wouldn't have been able to make it. There's a lot of stress involved with making this yeah. film, and a lot of ups and downs. And she was she she helped me together. You know, so. Well, congratulations but, again, man. Yeah, no, thank you, thanks, man. It's great to see you. It, oh, yeah. It's been too long. Hope yeah. it's not that long again. We'll see each other again. <laughs> the next movie. I <laughs> hope so, yeah. <laughs> Mark Cavino here, Johnny Rizzo with the Resolution and Riz Vids. Check it out. We're always at the movies. This is the Boston Underground Film Fest, by the way. Come to the next one. We got them all the time. See you soon. <laughs> <laughs>